Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Ross. Today, we're going to talk about how to kill Access. Kind of like kill Bill, right? Um, if you got a database misbehaving, and it's misbehaving often, and you can't figure out why, locks up, right? Well, we're going to make a quick little batch file that you can kill any and all running instances of Access. Or really, you can use this to kill anything you want, any, any Windows task that's running instead of having to open up the task manager. So uh, let's see what the question is. Today's question comes from Lucas in Knoxville, Tennessee, one of my Platinum members. Lucas says, how do I deal with Microsoft Access when it keeps freezing or not shutting down properly? I seem to have a database issue where Access just won't close sometimes and is still running in the background. I end up having to open Task Manager and manually end the task, which is a bit frustrating to do multiple times a day. Is there a simple way to create something like a batch file or a program that can automatically kill access when it starts acting up so I can get back to what I was doing without all the hassle? Yeah, it seems I seem to have this recurring problem too. It's like every other time that I do an, an office update, something they introduce once in a while causes some of my, even my simple databases, they just won't shut down. You close access and it looks like access shuts down, but msaccess.exe is still running in the background. And then I got to go in there and kill it. I've had this happen myself too. It's random. It happens once in a while. But yeah, it'd be nice to have like a little shortcut on your desktop. You could just double click and pff, there it goes. And it'll kill access for you. All right. So before we do this, for anyone who is not familiar with how to use the Windows Task Manager, go watch this. It's basically a program in Windows, part of Windows, Windows 10, 11 goes way back. And you can use it to see all of the tasks that are running, all the programs that are running, and you can right click on it and end task to kill one of them, but you gotta do it manually. All right, so we're gonna see how to do it with a command, with a batch file. All right, so let's say I got my database running. It's just sitting here minding its business. And let's pretend it locked up. All right, it's, it's hard to actually make it lock. I mean, I could make it lock up with an endless loop and some VBA, but uh, we don't need to go that far. Let's just pretend it locked up, okay? So you can either run it. I keep a I keep an icon for it on my taskbar all the time, but it's Control Shift Escape, or you can go Control Alt Delete and select Task Manager, or you can find that on the Start menu. Whatever works for you guys. There's millions of ways to do the same thing in Windows in Access, and here it is right here. Microsoft Access. It's running. You can see in here Tech Help Free Template. Okay. Now, what you got to know is the actual name of this application. If you right click on it, go to properties, this thing pops up, right? That's what you're looking for right there. msaccess.exe. All right. That's the name of that application. All right. So now that we know that we can open up a command prompt and then we can kill it with the task kill command. Again, I keep a shortcut to a DOS prompt on my taskbar, but you can just open up any Windows Explorer folder, go to where you want to put this file and type in CMD, and that'll open up a nice little command prompt that opened up on my other window. It's right there. Okay, now I'm going to minimize that guy. Here's what the command looks like. You ready? You run this from anywhere. It's task kill space slash F. That means forcefully kill this task. All right, so I'm going to bother you with prompts or ask you any questions or blah, blah, blah. Then it's I am the name of the image, basically the name of the file you want to kill, right? And it's going to be msaccess.exe. Ready? Boop. Gone. See? That's it. It's been terminated. All of it. All of your access databases that are running will be killed. There, I just did it again with two databases. I opened up two, two copies of the database. Same thing. Okay. Is there a way to kill a specific one? Yes, but it's a lot more complicated. If you guys really want to see that, let me know. Maybe I'll make an extended cut with that information. In it. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to remember that unless I look it up. So that's why it's, it's handy to put that inside of like a little batch file. So I'll go back to that folder, right click. We'll go to new and then text documents down the list. We're going to find it. All right. I'm going to call this kill access. And it's a dot text file for now. That's fine. We'll rename it in a second. Open her up. 
All right, and in here, put the same thing I just told you to put in there before, right? Task kill slash F slash I M M S access dot E X E, right? Save it, close it, and we're just going to rename this guy dot B A T batch file. Okay, rename it. Yeah, okay, that's fine. All right, now we got a batch file. I'll do the same thing. Ready? Double click. And, okay, the window's protected. Okay, da, 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 da. more info. And then run anyways. The first time you run that, you're going to see that it's Windows being cautious because you're running a batch file that could potentially like delete files and do harmful things. After you run it the first time, you shouldn't be bothered again. Now it is running. It's just running on my other screen and it happens so fast and then it goes away. If you want to be able to actually see some kind of confirmation right in here, just put pause. All right. So I'll save that, close it. And now when I run it, there's the window. It opened up on my other screen. There it is. Right now, this time it says the process MS EXE, MS access AC can't be found because it's not running. And then press any key to continue. Press enter. There you go. Let me launch my database again and move it over here. And then I'll run my little batch file and whoop, gone. And there it is. Yeah, this is opening up on my primary screen, which is down off the, off the video window. But that's it. That's all you got to do. Now you just take this little guy, drop a shortcut to it. Create shortcut right there on your desktop, wherever you want it. And now you can just run this. And then any, anytime you want, it'll just quickly kill access. And you could even restart your database if you want to. You can put it in here to restart the database. Right? Just put another line after that one that says, you know, msaccess.exe. You need the full path to it, space, and then the full path and file to your database. If you want to restart it, I'm not going to do that right now. Now, would you like something a little more user friendly? Like maybe, let me drop this over here. Maybe something like this. And it says, are you sure you want to kill Microsoft Access? And then you say yes. And then it says access killed. Well, that we could do with a little more coding and something called VB script. And I'll show you how to do that. In the extended cut for the members, silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. And yes, I know some of you are probably thinking if you've heard VB script is going away eventually, it's got a few years left. Um, you can do something similar to this using PowerShell, a little more complicated, but if you guys really want to see it in PowerShell too, let me know. Maybe I'll do another video. And if you have a Microsoft Access database that runs around the clock and does some important stuff like I do, I still have a database in my office that runs and it does things like send emails out and it checks my website and it does, you know, it does maintenance type stuff. It's running 24 seven on, a, on a, a timer on a loop, which I showed you guys how to do. Well, if that thing locks up, I want to know about it. But first I have this thing that I built called the Access Watchdog that watches the database, make sure it's running. If it stops running, it'll try shutting it down and then restarting it. So that's the access watchdog. And yes, those are my puppies right there. That's Carter and that's Cooper. They're good boys. But if you want to learn more about this, here's the link right there. But there you go. That's how you kill access with a simple little batch file. That's going to be your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. That's it.
and it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject, and you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.